I remember walking into the bookstore in 1990. I was 15 years old, and I, I went every week. I was, I was a hardcore reader, and I can still distinctly remember walking through that door, looking to the right, and seeing on the bottom shelf this new big fat book. It had a gorgeous cover. I still love that cover. I think it's my favorite of all the Wheel of Time book covers. And I looked through it and I said, wow, this is something different. This is something special. And I was broke. And so I had to buy it next week when I went back for my next one. But it's the first book that I bought. I went and I said, I'm going to read this big fat book. That was Eye of the World. Dragonmount.com is a Wheel of Time fan site that celebrates the books written by Robert Jordan. The first time that I read them, they just, they, you know, they blew my mind and they were, I'd read a lot of fantasy before that and this series had something, an extra spark to it that I hadn't seen before that really captivated me. I am the, uh, the chair of JordanCon, uh, which is the first and only Wheel of Time convention. My mom actually, um, as a punishment when I was like 13, 14, somewhere in that neighborhood, um, took away my books. She's like, okay, Jennifer, you're not getting any homework done. You're not getting anything done that you're supposed to do. I'm taking away the Wheel of Time books. I'm like, no, Mom, no. And so I actually like had one hidden under my pillow. Um, it was a uh, hardback, The Shadow Rising. Uh, and so I would like hide it under my pillow so she wouldn't take it away from me that because I was still in the middle of that one. Um, I don't think she knows about that one yet. <laughs> I'm the, uh, currently the uh, Wheel of Time recapper on Tor.com. Um, I first heard about the Wheel of Time um, in college. I was uh, standing in the bookstore one day and some random guy, never knew who he was, was standing there too and he was like, you looking for something to read? And I said, sure. And he said, try this one. And he handed me the eye of the world. Well, needless to say, um, I charged through all seven books that were out at the time in about two weeks flat. Uh, that was up through Crown of Swords. And um, the only reason it took me that long is because I did occasionally have to go to class. <laughs> I'm the writer, producer, and director of the documentary about Robert Jordan, tentatively titled The Wit of the Staircase. And I'm the cinematographer for the project tentatively titled The Wit of the Staircase. <laughs> I grew up with the Rickneys. They are good friends to my family. And I just, I've always loved the two of them, and Jim especially, this wonderful sense of humor, a wonderful man. But I, I, I've just been continually flabbergasted. Our biggest source of funding hasn't been grants, hasn't been traditional investors, it's been the fans. The fan base, the fan base is the reason why we're right here, sitting right here right now. So it's not just our film, it's their film.